Hi guys, it's Rhaenyra, and this is chapter, and this is part three of the Every Lady Creative Process series. In this part, I am going to be writing chapter 3C, which is um, the choice at the end of chapter two, where you choose to worm your way out of it. Um, right now, part two is processing, so yeah, I hate YouTube takes so long. Anyways, let's go here. Chapter 3C. And I'm going to need a smoke in order to finish these. Good lord, where did my lover go? Nope. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Feels so nice to be destroying my own body. Anyways, I have to go um, stutter nervously. I hate how long it takes for YouTube to upload my videos. It's so fucking annoying. But whatever. That's just the way it goes. Ugh, ashtray. Did you know that uh, rose petals don't burn very well? Yeah, I just figured out that out last night when one of my roses kind of like fell apart. So what I did was I um, I took the petals and I tried burning them. Didn't work out very well because <sighs> they weren't dried. But anyways, back to this. Okay. okay. No, it didn't capitalize. I don't care. I know it's a fucking fragment. There we go. Yeah. Alfred agreed. Glaring at you. Is. See. I want to call Matthew his twin, but I know that's not true, because historically, Canada is actually older than America. America wasn't colonized until 1605, or somewhere around there, and um, Canada was colonized in 1534. So I want to call him his big brother, even though everyone... Mm, Older brother. Uh, older twin. Maybe some other. <sighs> you shake shakily. Finally reach the front 
door of your house, you enter You enter immediately going up to your bed bedroom. Haha! -ha! Finished processing. Fuck yeah. My Wi-Fi is shitty too, so that might have something to do with it. Anyways, back to this. Immediately going up to your bedroom and locking the door. You collapse onto the bed, panting from running. Under your mattress and grab the one thing you grab that always comforts you. It's That is the end of chapter 3C. Holly fucking Luya. So it is. I, I, I have to go home. He started nervously. I, I have to go home. He started nervously. But my, my mother. My, my mother is expecting me and I don't want her to worry. Okay, Matthew said with a sweet smile. Maybe some other time. Yeah. Alfred agreed, glaring at his older twin. Maybe some other time. You shakily grab your bag and take your leave, running down the street as fast as your twiggy legs can propel you. When you finally reach the front door of your house, you enter, immediately going up to your bedroom and locking the door. You collapse onto the bed, panting from the run. When you are finally able to breathe properly, you reach under your mattress and grab the one thing that's always comfort comforted you. That always comforts you. It's A, a razor blade, or B, a picture of you and your childhood friend taken at your fifth birthday party. <sighs> Short chapters, I know, but still. And because I can't get on any fanfiction websites, I don't think I can, um, it's going to have to wait to be uploaded. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I can get on any. See, I'm using a uh, school issued computer, and because of that, certain websites are blocked most of the time. Occasionally, I can get past the filter, but mo right now, it's not working. Um, probably because I'm supposed to be in school. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess I can probably. Start working on some other chapters. But 
but if you're enjoying this, you can go on archiveofourown.org and deviantart.com and look up the actual story. On um, the archive, I am Untouchable13, and the story is called Every Lady Needs a Hero. And so far, I think I only have chapters 1 and 2 up, because I haven't been very consistent with uploading. On DeviantArt.com, I am Rhaenyra Iro, same as on this, and it is called Every Lady. Um, well, it's actually called Bully America x Bully Reader Every Lady. And it would be on fanfiction.net, because it is a fanfiction, but they don't allow reader inserts or anything of that sort. Um, they also don't allow choose your own adventures, which kind of sucks because fanfiction.net is really heavily traveled. Um, anyways, so yeah, I suppose that is the end of this recording. Um, also, I apologize for not having a camera or anything of that sort. Um, this computer doesn't have a webcam and I don't own a camera and screenshots and such don't work for me because this computer is stupid but anyways um yeah I guess that's it the dog keeps snoring thanks for watching